Alright, so if I can get the cart from there, past that line over there, then uh, you're witnessing a Guinness World Record. So, uh, I want everybody cheering and clapping in the background. Okay. Come on! Connor, you are responsible for one of the most disgusting photo shoots you ever hit Grafton Street. We're not talking about models painted in lurid colours, but a man who put like metal hooks to eye eye sockets. Yeah. Yeah. It's been great. A lot of people saw a chain or a space cowboy on um, the TV last night and came down. Yeah, it's amazing. Like he's a one-man freak show, and people kind of forget as the years go on. People forget just how how talented but how weird he can be. So he was bringing something new like that. Uh, the hooks in the ice on this thing down. It's good. Like people, people go the extra mile. Like you know, this is all coming back to me. And it bodes well for the Street Performance World Championships because it's kind of the year of firsts for you guys. It's the fifth, sixth, sixth year. Sixth year. Yeah. But this is the first time that you really, I suppose, are doing it on your own. Kind of. You, you, you haven't got a major sponsor this year, do you? Right. Exactly. You're in Port Leash for the first time. That's right. And yeah. you're hoping to break a, an even bigger world record than last year. Yeah, as if that world record wasn't stunning enough. We're going yeah. to break the world record for the most amount of people dressed as Where's Wally. Across Dublin, Cork, and Port Leash. Right. So we bought thousands of these body suits, which are flying out the door at the moment. Right. Uh, and we're going to do it in Cork and Port Leash at the same time. And then those numbers will be counted together. And that will be the record until Dublin tries to beat Cork and Port Leash. Oh, so we're so against the Colchies. We uh, there's a little bit of competition going on there. Yeah. It's something we didn't foresee happening, but the Cork people are like, we'll beat Dublin on our own. Or at least like bring it come on top of it. So yeah, put them together. And how can you bring us through very quickly how a festival like this is put together? I mean, did you you started planning for this festival before the last one? Before the last one, yeah. Yeah, yeah around it's funny, around April every year we actually start making notes on the, the festival not coming the, the next the second festival to yeah. come. Uh, because there's so many things that feed over into the next year that you have to consider. And even if it's sponsorship, you know, we are still looking for sponsors, but now we're looking for 2012. But the way to, to show someone how the festival really works is bring them down this year, let them see it all in its full glory. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of parts, and you really have to get the right people doing the right job. And, like, we have a really good PR team, or the first our production team is brilliant. And the, the core of the festival itself hasn't really changed. It's really high quality street entertainment. All that's gotten bigger really is the attendance and the, the advertising you see everywhere. And we have a couple of familiar faces this year. We have Mr. Spin coming back, that's we right. have Space Cowboy, we have Jack Wise, last that's year's nice. winner. Yeah. But new people this year. Yes. We found some really weird, interesting people again to bring to Dublin yeah. Court and Portage. Yeah, they're out there. We fished around. We found uh, an Indian snake charmer called Jardu. We found a guy called the famous rubber band Wolf, who himself has his own little bunch of world records for the, like, the, the most amount of rubber bands put on his face in 60 seconds. Uh, he has the world's biggest rubber band that he uses in his show. Uh, it's just strange things that he does with rubber bands and it's, it's, a, it's a good show. <laughs> <laughs> and you, what you're really hoping I suppose is that people come down, support the festivals, support the street performers, it's all free. Completely. Uh, it's, it's, com it's completely free, it's for everyone. As I said, this year we don't have a sponsor so we're, we're, we're hoping that everyone comes down and continues to keep the, the, the deadly fun festival that it is. Uh, dates for us? So, 11th to 12th of June in Cork and Port Leash, 16th to 19th in Dublin. And where is it in Port Leash? In Port Leash it's on in the People's Park, which is on the Timolo Road, and in Cork it's on the Fitzgerald Park. Cool. Connor, thanks very much. Thank you very much.